if you want to do canary deployments there are generally speaking three ways there are more than three but three that are commonly used whichever tool you use let's say argo rollouts or, or flagger it can manipulate the number of pods it can manipulate ingress or it can manipulate service mesh so let's say that you say 20 percent to to this uh, to this new release then it would create one pod of the new release and have four pods of the old release and then basically kubernetes service would still be sending to all of them but simply because of the number of pods uh, the percentages would be give or take correct right that's the worst option because it's very hard to control the traffic simply by increasing and decreasing number of pods uh, between two releases but hey if you have nothing else that's what you do then it can manipulate ingress and say hey uh, nginx or whatever you're using when the incoming traffic comes to that domain uh, send this percentage or whatever the criteria is over there and that percentage over there right and that gives you you don't need to manipulate number of pods you can you manipulate it on networking layer and most ingresses uh, should be able to do that it works somehow the problem is that 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 works that means that you can do canary deployments only for external facing applications so those applications that are exposed to internet can, can do canary deployments internal applications that are talking talking to each other no right and that's when if you discard the manipulation of pods that's when you get to the third option which is service mesh like istio has virtual service for example that allows you to say hey this virtual service this percentage goes there that percentage goes there similar to what ing uh, ingresses are doing right so you need service mesh if you have inter internal applications unless you want to go with a silly way of manipulating pods just don't do that